From 9-11, it's just like nothing. Had, we just have gone down and down. You, even you trying to hear good news, and there's no good news coming out. It's all down. Now we at the point, listen to me. Remember you heard me say it. Utter collapse. Utter economic financial collapse is, I mean, it's coming. Utter. When I say utter, I mean every economist, you know something. When preachers, prophets, and politicians are saying the same thing. Everybody's saying the same thing. It's coming. And they say it's going to be, then you go back and look in the book of Revelation when it's talking about uh, a day's wages for a loaf of bread. That's, that means super hyperinflation. Why? Because in order for us to keep going now, after all these trillions in debt, they turned on the printing machine and never turned it off. But as they print money, what happens if they keep printing money? It's too much money, and it devalues the product. So that means the price of stuff goes up. So when China and Russia drop out of the petrodollars, when the American dollar falls, overnight prices are going to go through the roof. But your dollars ain't going to be worth nothing. That's when you're going to, you better hope you treat people right at, after, at that point. You're going to need each other after that. It's God. God's going to let it happen. It's coming. And nobody want to hear it, so you know what? <laughs> Let me go. A little fold in other hands. A little sleep, a little slumber. The Bible says poverty shall come on you like a robber. It's going to come like a robber. Because nobody wants to hear it. It's too painful. It's too scary to think about. What would, what would happen if you slid that card and nothing happened? You slid that car and the gun came out. Get away, Miss. Get away, Miss Bank. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you know there ain't no money in there. You ain't got no money. Get away, Miss Bank. What would you do? What would you do? If you went right now to the bank and it was a line all the way around the corner, people trying to get their money, ain't no money. What would you do? Three days worth of food in, in the grocery store. What would you do? We not prepared to live off the land. We don't even own the land we live on. We couldn't plant nothing if we wanted to. Matter of fact, they locked, they locked up some people uh, in Detroit for trying to plant food. Trying to plant food. Why do they want us not to plant? Why are we so helpless? And then we found out about, go study a word called, a company called Monsanto. Monsanto. They engineering food. It ain't even food now. Did you know McDonald's? Hamburger is not really hamburger. People didn't know that. It's 20% beef. And the other, they call it they call it red slime because when you put heat on it, it forms into a patty. Chicken nuggets ain't, ain't chicken. But we eating this stuff and don't know, and that's why we coming up with this weird.